Hey everyone, welcome to the Weekend Extra. Joe here with Je Jeff. We just finished up the weekend and I uh, want to ask him some questions. This has been really fun to do. Um, I have the first one for you. All right, go for all it. All right, so uh, we talked about all these prophecies mm -hmm. in the Old Testament's got lots of them. You said over 350. Um, what's the statistical probability that someone could have just like, let's say they were raised in a religious family in Israel and they're like, they're born and dad's like, you're going to be the Messiah. And they just start <laughs> checking off the list. Like what's the probability There's of that? There's pressure like, right there. No, you get to go to you. Messiah school. Messiah Talk about camp. living vicariously through your <laughs> <Yeah>. kid, right? <laughs> um, it's, it's zero, yeah. right? So uh, what what did you say about the state of Texas silver dollars? Yeah, I read this thing where it was um, if you covered the state of Texas in silver dollars and you marked one of them, and then you released someone that was blind and said, if you can go and pick the one that I marked over the yeah. whole state of Texas, that's the same statistical reality of the likelihood of someone fulfilling all of those prophecies what? that Jesus fulfilled. Yeah. One in one in one quadrillion. It's a one with 17 zeros. Yeah. So it's, it's not going to happen, right? right? And, and, and that's the it, – it, there's no way it's going to happen plus – if you were going to manipulate it, not only would you have to know the scripture inside and out and be willing to suffer and die right, and raise again from the dead. So no let's just deal. let's presume that you could <laughs> fill, figure all that out. That additionally, you would have to be you would have to be able to manipulate time and space. So you would have to arrive. You would have to arrive at a time that Nazareth, Bethlehem, was under Roman control. You would have to see what I'm saying. You'd have to be able to manipulate history, manipulate a geopolitical system, manipulate individuals. It's it's impossible. And so that's where the prophecies. One of the reasons I believe God gives them is they really leave no doubt. Mm of who Christ is and what Christ is. And they they really remove the, you know, it's the one in whatever quadrillion you're talking about. They remove the possibility that there was a faker or an imitator. And we talked about this weekend, like the, the most detailed parts of the prophecy are Christ's suffering. Mm -hmm. So you have to be willing, like, you know, you're going to be the Messiah and you get nothing out of it. You get beat beyond human recognition. You suffer, you die, you're despised then by the very culture and family you were raised in. There's no upside for yeah. anyone to fake it. It was Christ and Christ alone. Especially since they're faking it, there's like literally no upside. L literally no upside, <laughs> right? You should, you're going to get beaten and die. Like, that's it. You know, so. Jesus at least knew he was the son of God and was going to raise from the dead. Like. <laughs> <laughs> right. And he was saving <clears throat> men from their sins. So right. there's literally no upside. Yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> well, um, speaking of how crystal clear God made it, all these prophecies, the statistical analysis is out there. If it's this obvious that Jesus is who he said he was, why doesn't just everybody engage it and grab onto it? See, I think that's a phenomenal question, and I, I think the Scripture would answer a couple of ways. One is simple ignorance, like people just don't know. You know, so walking through a conversation like we, we did uh, this weekend where uh, you land at a very conclusive point. So most folks don't know the Bible and, and haven't studied the Bible, so we have to teach, right? So that's a part of it. Um, another part of it, the Bible would say, is a hard heart. People who know all the facts of the Bible inside and out, and they don't want to believe. They refuse to believe. Uh, I, I think that's a, that's a huge part of it, too. And then it, it's so important, whether it's the prophecies, whether it's the credibility of Scripture, whatever, it all is by faith, right? So this is back to, really to week one. Like, we accept these things by faith. God is not a math problem. Uh, God is not a, a you know a, a a plus b equals c kind of a problem, so you can do those things mm -hmm. and still reject Jesus as God. You can you can do all the math and accept that He is the Messiah. That doesn't mean you have to accept Him as God. Mm -hmm. So looking at Jesus saying He is the Messiah, He is the risen Lord, He is my Lord and Savior, and I accept and receive the forgiveness of my sin and give my life to Him. That's all a process of faith. And if you don't engage even the crystal clear stuff by faith, you don't land with interacting with Christ the, the way you want to. So, so the Bible, I think, lays it out that way. And it's tragic. It's very yeah. tragic. Uh, the ignorance part, we can do something about. That's why we 
proclaim Christ and why we disciple and why we go to the ends of the earth, and that's yeah. that's what all that's about, uh, that we get to participate with God in that process. The hard heart uh, is scary, mm. and the I just won't have the faith is tragic. You know, I, I trust myself uh, more than my creator. That's great. Well, as <clears throat> we continue to navigate this Assume I Know Nothing conversation, and as you guys continue to watch this series and engage this, I think that's what we need to be praying about, is that the people in our lives that are on our hearts, that God would soften yeah. their hearts to the message of the gospel, that they would want to know Christ, and that he would then give us the wisdom and the no-brainer moments to begin sharing the incredible nature of who Jesus is. Sorry for not giving you guys the spoiler alert. We didn't tell you who the Messiah was in the message, and we yeah. just did in this video. Uh, but it doesn't come out till later in the week, so we'll be okay. That's right. <laughs> so anyway, we'll catch you guys next week. This has been your Weekend Extra. We'll see you later.